um, English football has, has put um, women's football on the map. This is the, uh, the major tournament record since 2007. You see that upward trend mm -hmm. from the 2015 World Cup, Euros of 2017 and the World Cup of 2019 semi-finals. It's only going to Solskjaer, the manager. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> <laughs> did, did 2015 feel like a watershed in some ways? Yeah, I think so. I think in terms of what we expected as a group, there was no real expectation in the sense of we wanted to go there, we wanted to play as well as we possibly could. But I think at that time, English football, women's football especially, we were kind of just happy to be involved in a World Cup. But and we tried to inspire the next generation. And I always remember our headline in terms of every meeting on a board was to inspire the next generation to go and play. And our performances probably were better because we had that less, less expectation on us to go and just go and play it. Every game, was, it was our last in the World Cup and go and enjoy it. And um, yeah, I mean, we came so close in that one in terms of the semi-final. It was probably our best performance of the whole tournament was the semi-final against Japan. And... Obviously, we kind of know what happens at the end of that. But, yeah, I think 2015 for the whole country, the fact it was live on television, people were staying up till God knows what time in the morning to watch us and to come away with a bronze medal was um, definitely a step in the right direction. Did, did 2019, did that feel like the game had been taken to another level? It, it, it was the first time, you know, I can remember, I have to be honest, where I was thinking, oh, the game's on tonight. You, you knew it, it was on. People were watching it. People were speaking about it, you know, in the morning, you're going to the gym, you, your friends, and people were talking about the game mm. in the evening. Did they feel like a huge shift, that song? It, it felt like that to me in the country, speaking to people and actually watching it myself. Yeah, definitely within our mentality as a team. I think we went to the tournament to go and win it. We knew that we, if we played our best football and we played against the best nations, we had an unbelievable opportunity to bring back a World Cup. But I think the nation kind of backed us a lot more. You could feel that a lot more from not just female football fans, but football fans in general. I think the fact that the, the games were on primetime TV, at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, where people were getting in from work, they were able to watch us. It, it actually helps. And the amount of messages that we did get was really powerful. So you could really feel like a shift in terms of momentum in our game and the fact that we felt that the whole nation was behind us to go and do something special. These are some of the questions, Steph, that um, we ask a lot of our guests about the best players that you've played with. Who would you say? Without a doubt, Kelly Smith. I think um, there's going to be no English player better than her. I think coming into the squad as a 17-year-old, you're in awe of your hero, basically. And um, her career, I think I'd love to have seen her in the game right now and have the opportunity to live the life as a professional footballer because I think she would just be, without a doubt, the best player in the world. Played against? Probably a centre forward for Germany, Celia Sasic, who we played against in the 2015 World Cup. She had a bit of everything. She was strong, she was powerful, she, she was quick um, and she could finish. And I think for me as a centre-half, it was probably maybe a season into playing in that role. I think she, I learned a lot, a lot of lessons that day, to be, <laughs> to be honest. This is going to be a really easy question. Best manager that you've uh, worked under? God. <laughs> I have, had, I mess I have had the message of Phil Neville this morning. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's watching in oh, Florida. <laughs> yeah, he's in Miami, so I'll have to say Phil. No, I think um, I've, I've been fortunate enough to work in, under a lot of managers at different stages in my career. And um, I really enjoyed playing under my old Manchester City manager, Nick Cushion. I think for the role that I play and what I've learned over the last few seasons, he really uh, changed my way of thinking of football and how the game should be played. What's your reaction to um, Serena Wiegmann's appointment then? Or, or the reaction of the, the whole squad? Of course, she's the, the Netherlands coach. She can't take charge until after the Olympics this summer. Um, I think in terms of we are excited. I think a record speaks for herself. She's took the Netherlands to uh, two finals within the... Uh, obviously won the home Euros and then took them to a World Cup final. So I think a record speaks for herself. But for us as players, ideally it would have been nice for her to come in straight away. But... It is what it is, and for us as player, we've got Hege Risa that will look after us until the Olympics, and she's doing a great job so far, and we just need to keep pushing as players to be prepared for when the new manager comes in. It, is there any players we should keep our eye out in the next few years? Obviously, this is getting broadcast on Sky now that you'd, you'd think could, be, <laughs> could light it up, basically. 
Um, there's quite a few. Obviously, Lucy Bronze is who we speak about quite a lot because of uh, she's the world's best player, won the Ballon d'Or. What and makes her out of special? Her mentality to win is frightening, I think. Uh, she really drives the team forward. She's got a natural ability to be strong, quick. And um, I just think the way that she plays the full-back role, the way that the modern-day game is now, it really suits her strength of driving the team forward. But I think, for me, the one to look out for is Lauren Hemp. Um, maybe a bit biased because she plays on my team at Man City, but... Um, I think she doesn't. The good thing about it, she doesn't know how good she is, and she's just turns up for training. She plays, and she's so frighteningly quick that um, she can do whatever she wants in the in her career. And um, I'm a bigger supporter, and I'll try and push her as hard as she can.